Okay, in this video we're going to look at Windows Whistler build 2419. So this is the third post beta 1 build. And we're only two builds away now from beta 2. By which point the system had got its name, Windows XP. And I'm going to show you the setup process in build 2419 because the setup process in this build is actually the same as it ended up as in XP. So this is a, an important build for that reason. We've also got for the first time some of the wallpapers that would end up in XP make the, de uh, make the debut in this build. So the system's rebooted now and you can see that we've got this new boot screen. So this is the boot screen that I was referring to in, I think it was the last video. So this would be the, the last beta boot screen. The next one would have the XP moniker. Right, so we're into the setup process now. So you'll notice in the setup now we we've got essentially the XP style setup with the colors and the layout. So other than that visual change the process is essentially identical to the previous builds. So with that in mind I'll pause the video until the setup's finished and then we'll have a look at the system. Just restarted because I found uh, an error if you read the second paragraph with the new application compatibility technologies technology. Yeah. But anyway, setup's almost finished now. And it has been more quick than the previous builds, unless I'm just imagining it. Okay. So I think it's going to restart now and we'll be into the system. So and see what happens. Incidentally, I don't know if you noticed, but during the setup process they were still using the legacy flag logo. So they hadn't changed that yet. Right, now I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to get an out of box experience again, so I'll pause the video and I'll capture it when it's changed the resolution. Right, so it's changed the resolution now. Still got the buggy sounds for some reason. Ah, right, so this looks the same as it was in the last build. Yeah, I thought it might be different, so... Um... Right, now it has asked me for my name this time, which it didn't in the last build. So, I mean, again, the desktop interface looks identical to many of the previous builds. We've still got watercolour. I think this is the last build with watercolour before they ditched it. And we've still got this sample visual style. I'm not going to go through all this again because we, we've seen it. 
Ah, yeah, so now we do have the Bliss wallpaper. change the wording slightly. Right, so I'm assuming again this will be IE6. Yeah. So again I'm running this on 256 megabytes of RAM. I've um, The hard drive is 5 gigabytes this time so I don't have to worry about space running out. So if we look at the system properties So 5.01, Microsoft Windows 2000, still being identified there. So we've got our visual effects again. That reminds me actually. So we can turn clear type on, it's not on by default. There we go. We've got our Activate Windows dialog as well. Huh, that's really weird seeing the Me logo next to that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new hidden away in any of these dialogs. So, yeah, we've got Animate Start Menu as it opens. We've seen that before. I'm not sure why that's not on by default either. It's quite nice. Right, so what I'm going to attempt to do now, I'll show you Windver actually. We're going to attempt to put the USB drive back in and see if it will detect it. So yeah, we've got 5.1 here as well. Um. Yep. Another thing we've got XP icons for the disks now as well. The address bar is off by default now, which I think it was in XP. Found that quite annoying as well, I have to say. Yeah, so it's not detecting USB activity. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just try installing some software. Well, a browser that's not IE, anyway. Talk of the devil. Not sure what that was about. Right, so I'll get Opera installed. Now, there is, shall we say, look at that, there is, shall we say, an infamous inclusion in this build. Um, why is it grouping all these things? That's really annoying. Yeah. So, in build 2149, um, We've got a, a tour. Sorry, in build 2419. I always get the build numbers wrong. We've got a tour included as part of the package. I'll show you it once I've installed Opera. Now, obviously, this was a preliminary tour because the operating system's still not finalised at this point. Watercolor's breaking Opera again. Um, just to close it for now. Right, so I'll show you the tool.
yeah, so that is the Whistler Tor as it stands in this build. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, obviously, they they just did that to get some feel of what it would be like. Obviously, they haven't done anything constructive with it, but it's just fun to look at. I mean, obviously that that was never meant to be seen by anyone outside of the development team. So it's just interesting. Um, yeah, so I'll try downloading in, sign up. I'll try downloading and install some more programs anyway. I might as well. I better change the theme actually, hadn't I? In fact, I don't know about you, but it looks to me like they might have designed that wallpaper so that it matches water, the watercolour theme. I don't know, I'm just speculating. I'm going to change it to... Um, oh, what, what is it called? Slate, yeah, Slate. Look at that, I like that start menu. Anime. I thought I was imagining that earlier. That's really good. I don't recall ever seeing that in XP. They must have got rid of it for some reason. I'll try some different software on here. I'll try Skype again actually because it didn't work last time. Um, and let's just try AdWare Antivirus. Why not? I think by now we've got the firewall. I think that's in this build. I'll check the control panel in a minute. Wow, Adobe Reader is massive. It's complete bloatware. 51 megabytes just to read a PDF file. AdWare's not working anyway. Right, we'll try Skype. Nope, Skype not working. Good job I installed that 5 gigabyte hard disk for uh, Adobe Reader. Um. I bet a vast will work. We'll try a vast. Works with everything, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll just let those download. Um, yeah, so control panel. That's looking a lot nicer now, and a lot more like it will look in XP. Right, so... Um, so user accounts, so we've actually got a different picture there, ah we've got a selection now, so we've got some pictures to choose from, we can change the way users log on and off as ever, um, sounds, now have we got the XP sounds yet? No. So it looks as if maybe at this point they were going to stick with the 2000 sounds. I don't know. And yeah, we've got the cursors as ever. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure the firewall is somewhere in this build. Maybe it's there, but it's not attached to the user interface. I don't know, I'll have to check that actually. Um, let's see what happens when we try to activate. I have no idea what a zip code looks like. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Excellent. Take that, pirates. Um, 
So, have we got sample pictures? No. Let's see what software is included apart from browsers and stuff. So yeah, media player. And this must be version 8 now. Yeah. Playing some strange music sample. And Movie Maker. So this looks like, to me, this looks like they've just taken it straight from me. I don't think it's changed. It just seems the same to me, from what I remember. Um, Outlook Express, obviously. And all our bog standard things. Well, we've got the nice new XP icons for the games, anyway. So let's see if Adobe Reader installs Windows Update. It's not going to work. I don't know why I keep pressing it. It did look like it was going to do something then for a while. It's not going to work. Right, we'll see if Avast installs as well. And I mean, something that would be really interesting would be to try and actually install an XP service back on here and see what happens. Even if it requires some editing of launch conditions, but I don't, don't think I'm going to try that. Um, well, I'll just express install. I think that is a consequence of changing the BIOS time. I think I'll just close up. Not sure what happened to Adobe Reader. I don't think anything happened to it. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's almost XP at this point. It's, you know... There's virtually no difference. Ah, oh, right, now Avast hasn't worked. Right, I'm not sure what that's about. But yeah, it seems to me that Microsoft, you know, they, they were really putting in a lot of effort with, with XP. Especially the fact that they got the idea to integrate visual themes. It just shows how much attention they were paying to making sure it was right when it was released to manufacturing. I guess they, they would have had a lot of faith in XP at the time, given that it was based on NT as well. But they really just wanted to push it out there, get people away from 9x. It's not working. And I mean, the visual themes, of course, they would have been a bit of a gimmick as well. And I'll be blue screened. They would have been a bit of a gimmick, but you know, you can't blame them.
yeah, so, I mean, this build's really interesting for a few reasons. You've got, obviously, you've got the new boot screen. Um, you've got that tour, which is quite entertaining, even though it's not that informative. Um, you've got, essentially, the XP setup process as it stands in the final version, give or take a few design changes, but not many. Um, so, yeah, you've got the wallpapers. You know, you've got the classic Bliss wallpaper as well. I mean, that just shows that we're really getting there now. Anyway, so this has been Whistler Build 2419. Um, now, there was one more pre-beta 2 build after this, but I don't have an image file for it, and I can't find one. So the next video, I'll be looking at the second beta version. Now, it in the operating system, it's still called Whistler. It was unveiled on the day that Microsoft announced the name change so the system itself doesn't have XP in it anywhere but it was released on the same day that Microsoft announced that XP was going to be the name and I think after that there was another version which called itself XP within the system as well so anyway thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video